Alright guys, here's a little how-to video on hooking up a one-third capacitor, one-third first audio capacitor. These ones come with the, like for the smell gauge wire, and then I have a piece of zero gauge wire and it just doesn't fit. Well, these slide into here, like so, like over here, okay, they slide into there. Okay, so what you want to do for the ground side of your vehicle, you want to ground your capacitor. I'd, I'd put it on the chassis, drill a hole in a nice spot, scrape the paint, put it back on there, you want to bolt up through, and a lock washer, and then another uh, nut to go on top of it to hold it down. Then all you do is you run it up into your capacitor, like so. Tighten it down like so, and that takes care of your ground. Now, up top here, you can see that this is a distribution block, so this ground will take care of this ground. Now, this is just for show. Um, this end will go into your amplifier, this end will go into the capacitor, like so. Then that slides right into there. Make sure it's a nice tight fit. And Alright. Well, that didn't work. But anyways, you guys get the picture. One end goes in the amplifier, this end goes into the capacitor. And then on this side, I don't have the extra wire to show you. So this is your power side. You'll have one input and one output, same as the ground. They're both of the same distribution block. So no matter what, one side is always going to give the other side power. If you run your, your power wire from your battery through a fuse, remember to always fuse your wire. That way, if anything shorts out, it'll pop the fuse, not blow your battery, or mess up anything else of your audio system. What you want to do is you want to run your power wire that's running from your battery, and that is fused, into the port here, tighten it down. Then you take this one, run the wire from this side, into your amplifier. That is how you hook up your capacitor. Um, Make sure your ground is good, or you'll see voltage drop. Remember, scrape your paint, drill your hole, don't drill it through your gas tank or anything like that, you know, because that could cause an explosion. So find a good spot on your chassis to ground it, run your bolt up through, lock washer, bolt, and that's that.